Hello and welcome back to the vlog. My name's Sarah and this is Like So Amazing. Today's video is going to be my June makes video. So I know that I haven't long uploaded my May video, but that one was a little bit late. So I'm trying to get back on track now with starting these at the beginning of the month. So I haven't made that much during June. It was a pretty busy month. Um, so my weekends were quite taken up with various things. So I didn't get that much time to sew but I've made three things that I'm going to share with you. So we're going to start with what I'm wearing. Now if you saw my video last month you'll have seen the Romy tester version that I made. So it was a blue and white knit version that I did with the tie back and I thought I'd lost that one but it luckily it turned up. So in the meantime I'd made this version as well. So this is the different version. So this has got the binding around the front edge and the back and the kind of envelope opening and I made it in this lovely flamingo fabric with just the pink jersey for the binding because I thought that contrast would be really nice and this fabric is fairly subdued in this light but it's light reactive so if I show you it here and then give me two seconds to run to the window to charge it up a little bit and then I'll show you what it looks like And here you go, you should be able to see more of the pinks and purples. The more you spend time outside, the brighter the colours get. So it's really funny that the top changes as you go inside and outside. So yeah, really, really happy with this. I made the smaller size, so I was kind of in between sizes. But I would say with this one, sizing down is probably the best option. But Tilly does advise you to kind of baste it together before you do a final sew. So try not to sew it up on your overlocker straight away just baste it together and see what the fit's like but yeah really happy with this nice to have a little t-shirt funnily enough i put this on today because my cat scratched me here and she was jumping off me and it's quite it's quite nice to have something high neck to cover that up. i'm just wearing it with my ginger jeans it's my first ever pair that i made and i wear them all the time they're still going strong after a few years so next up is another ogden cami so this one is such a scrap buster so you might recognise this fabric from the Charlie Caftan that I made a couple of months ago. And you do need three metres of that fabric to get the maxi version out of it. But you are left with quite a lot of scraps. So I managed to squeeze out the Ogden Cami with the facings and everything. And I've been wearing this in the shop well, on hot sunny days and it's just beautiful. This is a cotton viscose and it's just perfect for sunny days. Yeah, we've got a little bit left of this fabric and a little bit left of the yellow colored still in stock. I'll link that for you below. And then my third make is a new pattern. It is the Dirando Sirocco jumpsuit. Now this one was out of stock for ages so I didn't manage to get hold of it, but it came back in and I thought, yep, yeah, gotta make that one. I was always a little bit nervous about how I was going to be able to get it on and off. I wasn't sure whether, because it doesn't have any kind of opening, I wasn't sure whether it was actually going to work where the waistband held its shape enough but still could get over your hips. So I decided to try it out in a relatively cheap uh, navy ponty just to give it a go first and then I wanted to make it in a different fabric. But I have ended up absolutely falling in love with the navy version so here she is so I'll pop in some pictures so you can see how it looks on you can't I guess you can't really see that well all the detail if I hold you up closer you can see some of the pleating and how that all works But yeah, I have to say I absolutely love this jumpsuit. It's right up my street. So it's got a mixture of being able to look really, really stylish and chic while being literally the most comfortable thing you will ever wear. If ever there were secret pajamas, it's this. Because it's made in Jersey, so it's super comfy, super stretchy, 
and if you make it in the right kind of fabric then it will just look really stylish and I don't think I've actually seen a bad version of it online I really like the bright kind of jungle type prints that I've seen but similarly I like it in a really plain color I think it just looks so beautiful so in an update to the waistband getting over your hips so it does work so that's great the fabric needs to have 60% stretch at least and it does say that on the pattern so definitely take heed of that because if, it, if the fabric doesn't have 60% stretch it's just not going to be able to get over your hips and I would say you really, really need to sew that waistband seam on an overlocker because otherwise you're going to be really looking at snap stitches. So by all means, baste it together, but I think you may struggle if, you, you know, if you're having to stretch the stitches too much. So definitely an overlock will be your best friend on that one. But yeah, I've worn it so much already i know it's almost a bit of a wintry fabric but on the days when it's about sort of 18 20 degrees it's absolutely fine and yeah i've just been absolutely loving wearing it and just lounging around as if i'm in my pjs my only issue with the navy is obviously i can't really wear it around my cat or i can but i just can't cover her because that's just going to get covered in cat hair but yeah i've got another couple planned i want to make another one in a plain black because the choir I sing in, we perform in kind of black smart clothes. So I just want to have another outfit uh, for that. And I quite fancy making the short version in a more fun jersey. So I'm going to choose my fabric for that one. I've got a couple of ideas. So pretty short and sweet video today. As I said, not much sewing time. But I am doing a couple of pattern tests during July so again I probably won't be able to share those with you for a little while but I've got all of the plans I want to make the raspberry probably jumpsuit I think first by Coco Wawa Crafts so I've got my eye on actually this leopard print if you can see there that's a leopard print cotton and I was thinking about doing it in that so I've got the pattern ready now it's back from net printers and then as I said a couple of pattern tests and maybe I'll get another jumpsuit made up this month as well anyway i'm going to leave you there thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a little thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell to get notified when i release a new video i'll see you soon bye bye mm -hmm.